I'm not certain what would possess somebody to push a child down like this, but this is completely unacceptable. Yo, 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 yo. It's your boy, the Media Trafficker 24, and you already know I had to go and see what's going on with this Sesame Street place and all this commotion that's going on on the internet about them being racist towards black kids or kids of color, and I just want to see myself what really happened. And I'm going to check out the video with y'all. And then after the videos is over. Because they said it's multiple videos. So after the video is over. We going to you know, critique it ourselves And give our opinion on what really happened. And even Sesame Place didn't put out an apology. Or you know what I'm saying. Trying to backtrack and say that it wasn't like that. But without further ado man. Let's just go and watch some of these videos. And see what they talking about. You already know. Look, man, I, 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 I just, I kind of really just can't take no more, man. Like, it's blatantly seeing that they have a problem with our color kids. But I just say this, you know, when they be like, as our kids start to get teenagers and be filled with so much anger and want to lash out in a different way with what their teenagers lash out, because their teenagers lash out and go shoot up malls and shit like that. And grocery stores but what i say in schools too but what i say is like that's why we be filled with so much anger because we didn't went through so much shit growing up dealing with these people and it's like it's it's in their genes it's in their blood it's in their memories passed down by older generations from their grandfathers and shit to where we're not shit for these people to treat these kids like this, that's unacceptable, really unacceptable. And what I say is, it's nothing that we can do about it. Cause just say like if a black person went and opened up a amusement park or something like this, like how Sesame Street or Disneyland or something, that shit wouldn't work. They would shut that shit down so fast. They would shut it down so fast. So we have no choice but to interact with these people. And I'm not saying all of them bad, but we have no choice but to interact because what we set in stone for ours could be tore down from a missile. Look at the Tulsa, Oklahoma, all that. Like it just, man, it just, it just hurts me to see stuff like this. And they're gonna put their little apology out like they just did. They put their little apology out, but that ain't good enough. And then they gonna say, oh, we're gonna change. We're gonna train. No, y'all are trained already to hate us. Y'all are trained to put these thoughts in our kids' head already. To, you like, I don't wanna do shit. I can't go to Disneyland. I can't do the hell. I'm gonna go kick it with my guy over on the block. I wanna get a pistol. This, that, that's because as a child, we're traumatized from the racism that we take from stuff like this from the police to teachers to to employees at the store to where we getting followed and we probably have more or you know our kids be coming up with money so but they they we're man what I, we're just blackballed in life period as black people we are blackballed no matter what but they it's okay for them to steal our dance i bet one of these little puppets didn't did the nay nay and the shenay nay or whatever the fuck you know they want to steal our dances our music our way of life and everything but they don't want to accept us into society why because they're scared and as i say i'm gonna rewind what i said even if we got a even if we got one of these uh, fucking amusement parks or something they would find the first way they can tear it down they would bring so much drama to this thing right here man and i just say man it just it, it, it hurts my heart man just seeing this man and like I, I really you know it's i really don't know what else to say man i mean i don't know what else to say i just want to see if change is gonna come i'm gonna stay up on i'm gonna stay up on a uh theme park I'm, I'm going to stay up on it, you know, so, and we're going to see what really happened and what they're going to say. Hell, we'll give you a free night. 
you think I'm, I'd be scared as hell to stay there. If y'all want me to come back to this amusement park next, y'all might try to kill my kids. Shit. You know, tell him, man, this shit is just, it's just pitiful, y'all. It's just real pitiful, man. And make sure y'all, y'all hit that subscribe, like, and comment, man, for I can keep bringing these videos to y'all, man, because we got to put awareness on this, because if we don't tell our story, they're going to tell our story wrong as fuck. Now, if it wasn't cameras, they probably said the little girl pinched, pinched Elmo or something. You know what I'm saying? If cameras and shit wasn't, because back in the day, they did that. Oh, he pinched him. He did this. He did that. You know how, how the police do it when they lie and say we did shit to them when we were. Man, man, I was harassed from the police from the moment I got to leave the house by myself. Walking to the park with a basketball. Hell, I probably was on a big wheel that motherfucker wanted to stop me. But, like, it just, man, I, I just, you know, I hope, like they said, man, God is the only judge, man. And I hope these people are really judged. These type of people. I'm not saying all are bad, but most is. And, and that's just my experience from living this life for over, you know what I'm saying, the, how old I am. So, I just say, man. Y'all just let me know in the comment section how y'all feel about this because I'm fucked up about this. And I'm pretty sure it goes on in every theme park. It goes on in every theme park. It goes on in every store. It goes on in every school. It goes on in every workplace. And it's going to keep going on and on and on. We weren't asked to be here. How Malcolm X said, we didn't land on Plymouth Rock. Plymouth Rock landed on us, motherfuckers. Shit, man. And like I said, I'm kind of waiting on this. Uh, I'm, I'm waiting on a apology. I'm waiting on a apology to come back and see what the fuck they got to say. Because I showed y'all in the beginning, but I didn't read it to y'all, man. And that's why we got to stick together as people, man. It's so hard. And it's so hard for us, too. You know what I'm saying? Because we fucked up. We have so much rage and shit <laughs> in our body from being, you know, youngsters and shit, man. Like it, it, it just, it's just, it's just sad, man. I know I didn't say that a lot because it is sad. But we finna go ahead and read their apology and see what it says. Okay. We sincerely apologize to the family for their experience in our park on Saturday. We know that it's not okay. We are taking actions to do better. We are committed to making this right. We will conduct training for our employees so that they would better understand, recognize, and deliver an exclusive, equitable, and entertaining experience to our guests. Sounds like how they, oh, we're going to make our police go and train better to be around. Y'all been around us our whole fucking life. So how can you train? No, it's in y'all. But let's keep it going. For over 40 years, Sesame's Place has worked to uphold the values and respect exclusions and belongings. We are committed to doing a better job making children and families feel special, seen, and included when they come to our park. Okay, well, y'all not working hard enough because evidently I bet you can't see a bunch of other kids that's going through this shit. And like I said, man, it's traumatizing, man. It's traumatizing. Man, it's just hard. It's hard being of my race, a black man and a black woman. And all I can say is, man, I pray for everybody that's involved in this situation, man. And I love everybody, man. So just make sure y'all hit the like, subscribe, and comment. You already know. 24.